What's up guys, over up here, and today we're going to be exploring Firechain. As usual, all links are going to be in the description, but follow them at your own risk. Firechain is an L1, and quoting the official website, the Fire ecosystem aims to bring a shift in the paradigm from the for-profit economy to a for-benefit economy. And you can read more about their mission, vision, and values on the About Fire page. Project raised a lot from the funding rounds and sales. As you can see, funding rounds alone from 21 and 22, 121 million USD. And on top of that, they did some sales regarding the potential airdrop in the future. In tokenomics, we have 20% allocated to staking and community. Obviously, there are no further details known. Also, we do have a roadmap for this year. And as you can see, the mainnet launch is scheduled for Q3 2023 and considering that we are currently at the very end of Q2 this is soon-ish. However what's really odd for me for this blockchain despite that we are kind of close to the mainnet launch there are currently no functional depths on the testnet at least I wasn't able to find any. There are mentions of some partnerships and also the fire team stated that yes there are teams dev teams building their projects and recently in the ecosystem highlights they highlighted three applications these are currently functional on different blockchains so i assume they will be also building on fire chain but again if we just look at the current date no dApps, but obviously we'll see how it goes here we're just gonna do what's available so fire chain has two chains the first one is native and the second one is EVM. First, what we need to do, we need to download the native wallet. Previously, it was only possible with the developer mode, but currently, as you can see, you can just install it from the Chrome store. Here we'll need to create a new wallet. Process here should be pretty much the same as in other wallets. We're creating the name. On the next screen, it will give you all your credentials, seed phrase, private key, and your EVM address and your native chain address. So be sure to copy all of that into the safe place. Then we're going to set the password and congratulations, our wallet is created. As you can see, there are two chains, native and EVM. So next we need to get some tokens from the faucet. We we'll go to faucet. We need to pass the capture. Here you can select either native chain or EVM chain. We're going to request at both chains. So for the native chains, we just click here, copy our address and paste it here and send success. And now we're going to switch to EVM chain and click in the faucet again. Now we need to pass paste our EVM. So also regarding the EVM, I was thinking what if we use our main EVM address here? And I sort of decided against it because I think from the standpoint of using the native wallet, native wallet kind of creates both addresses there. So I think it's better to use that one. Okay, now let's check our wallet. And as you can see, we got 20 and 20. The next functionality for testing is going to be sending these tokens to a different wallet address. So for the EVM chain, we can just use our main address from the MetaMask, for example. Here, obviously, we select EVM, then place in the recipient address, the amount, I'm going to send one, and we're just going to transfer transfer process and by the way there is also a button here that we can add the fire network to our metamask we're gonna need that later so you can just go ahead and do it right away you don't have to switch the network and then we need to transfer some tokens within the native chain for that you need to use somebody else's native address you can just use mine it's going to be in the description and i'll just use some random address that i found in transactions in explorer transfer native Put in that and I'm just gonna send 0.1 fire tokens. Okay, that should work. Next functionality that we're gonna test is the swap, but it's basically a bridge between native chain and the VM chain. I just send some fire tokens. Okay, and then obviously we can switch directions and just send it back. 
We are done with that and we're gonna move to the nominator application. We're gonna become the nominators. So here we connect the wallet. Nice, we need to enter our name. User created successfully and there is a button become a nominator. Here I suggest toggle to nominate multiple validators and then you can select multiple validators and then on the bottom right corner there is a button nominate. You just click that. As you can see we selected three validators. Unfortunately they don't have the name now. And here you put the amount that you want to stake. So I assume we need at least 20 plus something. So what we can do, we can just move some funds from the EVM to the native. This is native, right? Yeah, it's native address. So I'll just move 10 fire tokens from EVM to native because I'm not sure how often can you tap the faucet. Now we got 29. Let's refresh. Okay, can we do 20? Yes, we can do 20. So you need at least 20 fire in your native wallet plus the gas. We need to approve. All right, nominated successfully. As you can see, we are nominating. So we're done with that, I guess. And for last on-chain task, we're gonna deploy smart contract. But before we do that, we need to import our EVM wallet address from Firechain into the MetaMask because we're gonna use MetaMask in order to deploy the contract. So for that, we need to go to MetaMask. Here we need to import the account and you need to input your private key that you were given when you created the Firechain account. So you just put it here and you click import. There you go. So I have it under account four. Here you can switch to Firechain and also make sure that you are on the right account. So regarding smart contract, we have precise documentation on how to deploy that. Since we're going to be using MetaMask, we need to do it in Remix, I believe. So we're going lower for the Remix guide and we're just going to follow that. And here we need to create a new file. But first of all, go to your MetaMask and make sure that you are connected with the correct account, with the account that you are imported and that you are on Firechain. Then we're just gonna create a new file. It can be anything. .sol. And then we need to copy this code and paste that here. Click OK. Then we need to compile that. We go onto this compiler. I suggest leaving the compiler version at 8.18. We click compile. OK, we're good. Then we go into deploy and run transactions. And here we need to select, come on, go away. We need to select injected provider MetaMask. And you can just deploy and confirm. Once we get the green check mark that this has been confirmed, there we go. And now let's go ahead and interact with this contract. So we click here to open this, let's use minting function. So we click here, input the amount, I'll do a thousand. And we click transact, confirm, good. And now let's burn some tokens, we click on burn. I'm gonna do a thousand also, clicking transact. Same stuff basically, confirming. And that should also be done. Now we can click to MetaMask and see our transactions. First cont contract deployment and mint and burn. And that should be enough for my taste. So that's for currently available on chain tasks. For socials, we do have Zilli. Other than that, not much really. You can join the Discord and follow the Twitter to stay informed. For now, just gonna be waiting on some working depths on the test net, maybe some social campaigns, or maybe straight to the main net. That's all I wanted to cover here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you found video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.